I spent a lot of my youth and adult life struggling with my identity. Not knowing or believing who you are can drastically affect your confidence in yourself. Currently in my life, I'm in a couple of leadership roles and lack of confidence can cause you to struggle in gaining the trust of those you are leading. They can see right through you and fear to get behind you in any capacity. Now, I believe that we are all leaders in our lives, even if you don't have a specific title for one. Whether you're a manager, a worship leader, a mom, a friend, or a spouse, you are a leader to some capacity. If you're like me and struggle with your identity and confidence issues, I hope that you gain some wisdom from the information I'm about to give you, just like I did. Now, I did not really believe who I was until a few years ago. I had known who I was for a few years, but I did not believe it. It wasn't until I was sitting with a mentor of mine when I started thinking about this idea. We were talking about my confidence issues and I told him that I don't have confidence in most decisions I make and I definitely don't have confidence around people. He began to give me some advice on building confidence in my own life. Guess where all of that advice started? My identity. He gave me three simple words that I would never forget, that I implemented the next day, that have become ingrained into my mind ever since. He said that your identity is what you know God thinks of you, what you believe God thinks of you, and what others and yourself know and believe about you. Now you can have all of the knowledge in the world. You can be so filled up with information that you never actually take the next step in believing that truth. And once you start to believe it, not only will you notice a difference in your life, but people will start to point it out as well. Now, from there, I immediately sat down with this information that he gave me and started hashing out all that I knew about myself through God's eyes. And I wrote down a small mantra for myself that I could remember easily. It was, I am a child of God. Whatever I cannot handle, he can. And I looked at that statement over and over again. I knew the truth. I'd known it for years, but I started to ask myself, do I truly believe it? At that point in my life, I don't think I could honestly answer yes. I do believe that I had been a follower of Christ for years, but I also think that it takes time to really let truths like that sink in and believe it. So every morning after that, I began to look at myself in the mirror and say, I am a child of God. Whatever I cannot handle, he can. And over time, I noticed something start to shift in myself. What I noticed was that I was becoming more confident and the decisions I was making were confident as well. I was no longer reliant on my own idea of myself or lack thereof. I was becoming confident of who I was in the eyes of God. And now that it has been a few years, I can see almost a complete 180 in my life. I've been told by those close around me that I make decisions with confidence and that's all attributed to God, some self-evaluation from a mentor, and knowing one simple truth about myself, that I am a child of God. Whatever I cannot handle, He can. Now I leave you with one thing. Don't think that I no longer deal with identity and confidence issues anymore, because I do. The difference is that I have a truth that is ingrained into my mind. So when I do have moments of weakness, I can remind myself of this truth. It was hard to begin this new thought process, a lot of hard mental work that would become physically draining some days. But I believe that this shift in thinking is the best decision that anyone can make. And I hope that you consider believing in yourself and what God thinks of you. Thank you for checking out this video. My name is Matt, and if you are new here, I'm a content creator and musician here on the YouTube platform. Now, the video you just saw is a little bit outside of the normal style of video that I post, but on Mondays, I've left my calendar open as a vlog day for me to experiment with different styles of video, and that's why this video was posted today. And if you like 
this video or other styles of vlog videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications because I have these videos coming out every single Monday at 6 p.m. and I want you guys to know about it. But I also have videos coming out every single Friday at 6 p.m. and it's usually a reaction video. And if you like reaction videos, I've got a playlist right here that you can click and check it out. But also make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have those coming out every Friday at 6. I want you guys to know about it. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. If this video meant a lot to you, go ahead and share it with somebody. Maybe they need to hear this encouraging message today. I love you guys. I appreciate you and I will see you guys next time.